this is a fuel cell stack it the process is you get electricity and water out when you put hydrogen and oxygen in it consists of plates gaskets and membranes and it has an anode and a cathode this is a electrolyzer stack the process is electricity and water go in and hydrogen and oxygen go out it consists of plates gaskets membranes and an anode and a cathode this is a cat the process is pet the cat in cat pours out but <laughs> let's get back to hydrogen so the question is if an electrolyzer and a few cell have almost the same components and the process is just the different way is it reversible can i get electricity out of an electrolyzer when i put hydrogen and oxygen in or can i get hydrogen out of fuel cell if i put electricity in and the answer is yes there are reversible stacks and even my pam electrolyzer after it ran for a couple of hours and produced hydrogen and oxygen there's a voltage uh, on the anode and cathode where you see the probes here until the oxygen and the hydrogen is gone actually it is very important not to have this voltage and this process going because it damages the pam electrolyzer so we have a short circuit relay which short circuits the electrolyzer because if we take a look at a fuel cell here we have carbon plates we have a flow field where gases flow in optimal manner along the membrane with different catalysts here we have titanium high pressure stack with a metal mesh and different gaskets and different catalysts so also different prices so we see both are very specialized on either a gas or a liquid or the output and actually it is not really possible to have one stack for both so i hope you found that interesting we have also this fuel cell stack in a buggy or an atv so if you want to know more about hydrogen and whatever you can do with it subscribe to the channel and thanks very much for watching